What's the deal with tire load ratings? Have you ever noticed this? You go to buy tires and there's a whole numerical and alphabetical system there. I'm confused! It's like your tire is trying to pass a secret message. Hey buddy, I'm a 95 XL and I can handle the weight. I mean, are we buying tires or cracking a spy code? This whole universe is against me! Well, it's about time we end this confusion. Let's simplify it. Now, you might think load range and load index are a couple of complex formulas cooked up to keep you guessing. But really, they are pretty straightforward. They both indicate how much weight a tire can carry. That's right, whether we are talking about load range, ply rating, or load rating, these terms all boil down to one thing, a tire's load capacity. But why all the different terms? Well, let me explain it. Historically, tires were built like tanks. More plies meant a stronger tire. But technology has evolved and modern materials make it possible for tires to carry heavy loads without physically having 10 layers of rubber. And that's where these alphabetic load ranges come in. For instance, load range E doesn't literally have 10 plies, but it's built to function like it does. The same is the case when it comes to other load ratings where load range C corresponds to a 6 ply rating, load range D steps it up to an 8 ply rating, and load range F tops it out with a 12 ply rating, sporting a hefty 4000 pounds per tire. Now typically LT or light truck tires use this alpha system of CDEF load ratings while passenger or P matrix sizes use a numerical load index. Though sometimes you do see a letter A used for SL rated tires and letter B for XL but don't let that throw you off. The bottom line is this. Smaller cars typically run SL tires. Larger crossover and SUVs often need XL tires, and LT tires are reserved for hauling heavier loads. This all means you really shouldn't slap heavy duty tires on a small car if you don't actually need them. Extra material in the tires internal construction means extra weight, which translates to lower fuel economy and stiffer under performance. And yes, here's a myth worth busting. A higher load rating doesn't automatically mean a more durable tire. It just means it's built for heavier loads and higher pressures. That's all. So yes, sometimes more isn't better. And with that out of the way, let's see how much weight and pressure do these ratings actually handle. Now this table might look intimidating, but don't worry, it's simply showing how each load range stacks up in terms of maximum weight. For example, the SL size is able to carry a maximum of 1700 pounds, whereas F load rated tires can lift more than twice as much. The key here is knowing how much weight you are carrying, so you can match your tires to your driving needs. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button to show your support and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future tire tips and comparisons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.